Hello everybody, this is Rob and welcome to RCJ Gaming and today I've got a little tutorial for you and what it is, it's this uh, it's a pass, oh, what is it, it's a pass code armory at the moment obviously there ain't no armory now, I've just left it as the uh, basic uh, looking thing but what it is, you come over here and then you put your key in it and it opens up so then what, what you can do is you can go and get all your items out of it and then you press the button again and it closes right so what I'm going to generally do is I'm going to strip this lock down for a minute just here so you can see the uh, workings of the machine and stuff and then I'll run through on how it's uh, going to be built together and um, and yeah and hopefully at the end of it you should be able to have a uh, working model yourself so as you can see you got this is your main contraction first right so what you got to do to get that is you dig down two and then you have to get a sticky piston and a piece of glass right so sticky piston you put your glass and then you got to go five so one one, two, three, four, five. You delete four and put that one underneath it. Right, so then at least once it the light opens and closes, that's what's going to be making. So you dig down two, right, put a sticky piston, a piece of glass, then you go up five, delete four of them, and put your next sticky piston and a piece of glass, and then you end up with that to design going on there. Now, what you then got to do is, is clear out the space around the piston. Okay, which you dig down to, and then you got to go one, two, three, four, five, and then the row here as well. Okay, and then once you've done that, we can then start going into doing some of these uh, bits and pieces. Right, so what you're going to need is, you're going to need the dropper make sure it is a dropper and not obviously a dispenser because it's not going to work right there's a few essentials you're going to need to start off with now in the gap opposite the sticky piston and I'll show you over here look, you need your droppers and you've got to put two on top of each other so if you go into sneak mode or crouch right you will now have your two droppers on top of each other like so Right, then you need to go and get yourself some droppers as well. Okay, so you get your droppers, and let's just go into a sneak mode again. You gotta go one, two, and then you put one on top of it like that. So what it is when your key goes in, it gets sucked in, it goes into that one, into that one, and eventually it's then going to spit out on the other side there so now we've got this general thing going right what you need to do now is dig one gap down from underneath the hopper so this hopper here you wanna right, we'll put that one back in right you put your torch and then sneak mode stick that one back in there there you go so now that is what you should have and then you have to get a comparator okay put your comparator in there with then also a block of your choice which I'm just using quartz because it's just easier to be able to like see it and stuff so then once you put in your quartz which goes there you then need to add your redstone dust coming off this one then you dig it down a gap and you put it like that so then it should turn on you yeah? so now it should be looking like this here okay and then what we can do is as well if you have a look here you got another um, you got a repeater okay which goes in that gap okay and then this you just have to you don't need to take it all out you only need to have literally like just go underneath but I'll take it all out because it makes it easier and then you just run three sets of glowstone dust there and one in the middle 
right? So one, two, three, and one in the middle. Okay, and now your setup should be looking like that on the first bit, and like that. Okay. Now, what we've got to do is, is you grab a comparator, and you just put your comparator coming out of your dropper. Okay. And then once you've got that, you then add a block of choice with a torch. So once again, we're using the uh, quartz, but you can use obviously whatever one you fancy. Okay. So now that opens that up. All right. And then what you do is you come off it, and then you have to make a little staircase. Okay. So we have a look at that one, and then you make a little staircase, which we've got here. So right. And once you've got your little staircase, you can then use your blocks of choice again. Okay to come off now just trying to work this one out that's it you come off the uh, block of glass okay and just make yourself a staircase down and then that block there is going to be deleted because what you've got to do is you get a half a slab which allows the uh, circuit to go all around it all right delete that one go back to your dust and just throw your dust all the way up there so now that should be your whole entire like redstone system built and stuff which you know it is fairly simple design right that's why I did like the two different side by side so you can actually see what was going on and stuff and now what you do is and obviously you come over here and if we put our paper down it then opens up and now this is what this little bit is for because when you um, let's get the block of choice and we'll go and get a button right and now when you put your block over there and add your button right that activates that and it spits out your key okay and now to make your key oh no boy and then what you need to do is you need to have four blocks of your choice which you can name over at Danville but for some strange reason, it's, uh, yeah, it's playing up for me. So I ain't going to name it on this one. And you also need to have 19 paper, which I'll just show you now. If you go down to your dropper down here, or well, your hopper, I should say, right? Then you get your four dirt, and you just literally got to lay them like that. Then you get your 19 paper. Okay. Right? Keeping, obviously, and there we go. Right, you have your 18 paper in there. Right, and then we'll take that one back. There you go. So now, once you've got your four blocks and your 18 paper in there, right, you then come along to your other paper, you'll drop it in there, and it now opens up. So you can name that anything, but the secret is you've got to have the 18 matching the um, separate one as well to make it work and stuff. And then what we do is we'll just uh, right. We'll show you this bit because you put your block, your button, press it, and it's done. As long as it's over this bit of redstone there, it will be perfectly fine. And now, and then what you do is you can just kick your site out with your house to whatever uh, design you want. I'm just going to do this roughly for now, just to just to show you what you can actually do okay. right. so you can have that you know as the front of your house like you can um, probably put some stairs in just to like add a bit of decoration and such so let's just and then that hides obviously your piston there right. so yeah so then you can have that just on your front of your house which don't look too bad Right, and then obviously you can fill in the spaces around around there, right? Which you can add carpet to or anything you want. And then get in there. Thank you. Right, doors open. Press the button. Comes back out. Door closes. And I guess if you was to if we take this last way, right? Let's just see. Yeah, if you've got it like that, and you was to put some, uh, let's just put some nice uh, 
No slime carpet, right? Going to do uh, sneak mode, pop up this, right? Agreed, you can then link the uh, redstone and change your foot into like a different part of your house or you know, something like that. It don't really, but yeah, you can have it like that. So now it don't generally look like it's anything. And now, if I can remember where it was, uh, it should be there. No, where am I? There you go. All right, so you come along to where the button is, yeah. And then that will open up. Press it again and it will spit out there. So, go to the button. And it opens. So you can have it, you know, as a secret door as such if you wanted to. Because then what you do is, you can come through here. Right. And if we... Right. Obviously we don't want to like block up any of the... Uh, any of the working bits. But... Um, you could you could change that so it goes out a little bit more like and then you could um, have this as your door coming out here then so there you go so now that ain't gonna block it up is it no that's fine right and then you could add your half a slab uh, over on this bit right and now you've got a secret little room as well right There we go, and then obviously do that, and it closes it back up, and you just walk away, and you think, yep, don't, no one's going to get to my house. So obviously you could hide that on a tree, or you could just hide that anywhere you wanted, really, just so like you know where it is. And there you go, come through, and you're into your little secret base. So I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you did like this uh, tutorial. Please do hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe as well. And if you would like to see some more of these and hopefully yeah, the uh, I might be a little bit better with the um the way I'm put like organise it and stuff, um please do comment below and I look forward to seeing you again too. Bye for now.